Hello and a very warm welcome to Central Key for the latest edition of our daily show reviewing the Commonwealth Games and really looking forward to what's coming up over the coming days. I'm joined by Gavin Berry on a day where Scotland can really take a lot of pride in their successes yesterday and Gav, they've now surpassed their record game Games medal hall. Absolutely, I mean, 33 medals, you know, at this early stage, it's just fantastic. You know, I don't think anybody could have predicted that it would have gone as well as it has. I mean, Libby Clegg's gold was just incredible. The highlight, probably, for many people, seeing her win by such a distance in the end. And I think for Flower of Scotland to be sung out in the national stadium, that's what everybody, you know, was hoping for. And it was pretty emotional scenes. Albeit I had to watch it on the television because I was at the SECC for the boxing yesterday. Um, but certainly you could tell that it captured everybody. And two of the most unlikely looking athletics heroes, should I say. I mean, the, the, the bowlers really stole the show yesterday. Some of the celebrations were, were absolutely outstanding, but they don't look like your average athletes, do they? No, but I don't think you should question their dedication. No. Because, I mean, it's still, it's still to be at the top of your sport the way they are. And, Again, a comfortable win in the final, you know, after making all the headlines the, in their semi-final with a tight match against uh, the old enemy England. But um, no, that was a deserved gold and uh, you can see from the pictures today how much they enjoyed it and what it meant to them. Paul Foster, of course, was one of our columnists in the build-up to the games and uh, couldn't get a nicer guy. Now, you were at the boxing yesterday. I mean, did anyone, first of all, stand out for you among the Scottish boxers in action yesterday? Well, little Joe Ham, he won comfortably and he just he's your typical Glasgow fighter, wee guy from the Gorbals, Gallus, even after it you could tell he was buzzing, you know, just how much it meant to him in front of the home crowd. I mean, they really raised the roof for uh, Joe, I think they take to him being, the, one of the, being a Glasgow fighter. And there was also Aquil Hamed, um, he won in the afternoon session and it was his birthday, 22nd birthday, so what a way for him to celebrate and his niece was celebrating her first birthday. She was also in the crowd watching him for the first ever time. So he said there was a lot of pressure on him and he came up trumps. Uh, the only disappointment was Keaton Smith. Uh, he was the only one of the three Scottish boxers who lost on the night. But he went down to Anthony Fowler, who's the cousin of Robbie Fowler, the mm -hmm. former Liverpool and England footballer. Uh, and I have to say that although Keaton lost, um, Anthony Fowler looks a real deal. I wouldn't be surprised if he went on to win gold mm -hmm. in his division. And then it's back along to the boxing today for Reese McFadden, the yeah. guy who's been christened the cheeky boy of boxing. Yeah, I mean, they, that, that, that performance last week against the world number one was yeah. just absolutely outstanding. It's, 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 it's performances like that, they really sort of capture the imagination in the yeah. games. And just hoping for more of the same today and hopefully he can produce uh, a bit more of that. Now, just finally, you were also covering the hockey yesterday and the Scottish women's team set up an absolute cracker now, that's, that's tomorrow. That was incredible, in front of uh, Kate Middleton and Prince William as well, um, they beat Wales and now <coughs> it's Scotland v England tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock I think, so you need to be up early for that one and the winner will go through to the last four. Uh, the men also had a thrilling win against Wales, they were 3-1 down, come back to win 4-3, but unfortunately they still be out of a medal position, that's not enough uh, for them to get a medal, but they're still targeting their best ever finish at the Commonwealth Games, which is 7th, and they've still got a chance of that, so fingers crossed for them. Well don't forget you can follow all our live coverage of the Commonwealth Games, we run a live blog on the website dailyrecord.co.uk which runs from 10am right the way through to close of business at around 11pm, it's packed with pictures, all the breaking news and if you want to keep up to date with the results as they happen that's the place to go. But for myself and Gav thanks very much for joining us.